As August comes to a close, let's take a moment to celebrate some groundbreaking inventions patented this month. From the first electric traffic light that transformed our streets to the first jet flight that revolutionized aviation, August has been a hotbed for innovation. Get ready to dive into history and discover how these inventions have shaped our world. Hit that subscribe button for more tech-tastic content. On August 5th, 1914, a design based on James Hoag's creation debuted in Cleveland. The drivers on East 105th Street and Euclid Avenue in Cleveland were first treated to one of the most exciting traffic innovations of the time, an electric traffic light. Installed by the American Traffic Signal Company, the technological innovation let booth attendants control the red and green lights at each corner of the intersection. A buzzer would go off before the color switch to warn everyone of a signal change. When the light was red, the sign would say, stop. When green, it read, proceed. Approved. In 1918, James Hoag's creation was the first electric traffic signal to be patented. As for the yellow light, which we all take for granted, it did not appear until Detroit police officer William Potts came up with the idea in 1920. On August 8, 1899, Albert T. Marshall received the first patent for a refrigerator. His design featured an automatic motor cutoff and a mechanism to regulate the water used to cool the refrigerant. Over the following 25 years, Albert Marshall continued to innovate, filing additional patents. These patents were assigned to the Automatic Refrigeration Company, which launched its first household refrigerators in 1914. By 1918, they had introduced a refrigerator with automatic control, eventually becoming the Kelvinator Corporation. Notably, American inventor Oliver Evans laid the groundwork, followed by significant contributions from Jacob Perkins in 1834 and John Gorey in 1844. Refrigerator revolutionized food distribution as refrigeration allowed perishable food to travel longer distances. On August 9, 1898, Rudolf Diesel was awarded a patent for an internal combustion engine, which later bore his name, the Diesel engine. Rudolf Diesel created a highly effective engine that could operate with a variety of fuels, particularly those less refined than gasoline. His concept was built around using high compression to ignite the fuel, which not only boosted performance, but also made the engine more robust and adaptable. Diesel engines are celebrated for their exceptional thermal proficiency, meaning they convert a greater portion of fuel into work compared to gasoline engines. This proficiency is especially valuable in heavy-duty roles like trucks, buses, ships and industrial equipment, where power and fuel economy are essential. Diesel's engine swiftly demonstrated its value, leading to broad adoption across various sectors, from automobiles to marine engines and paving the way for contemporary diesel technology. Today, Diesel's name is synonymous with strength and proficiency. Follow for more fascinating history bites. On August 11th, 1903, a Japanese chemist, Satori Kato, who lived in Chicago, received the first U.S. patent for instant coffee. Instant coffee, also known as soluble coffee and coffee powder, is a drink derived from brewed coffee beans. It was the first successful method of creating a stable, soluble coffee powder. Water-soluble instant coffees first saw the light of a cup in Britain in 1771, but the product had a short shelf life and went rancid fast. So the process had a short historical life and went away fast. Satori Kato was the Japanese inventor of soluble tea. A U.S. coffee importer and a coffee roaster asked him to apply his dehydration method to coffee. With the help of an American chemist, Cato worked out the details. The Cato Coffee Company distributed free samples of the coffee-like product later that year at the manufacturer's building of the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, New York. On August 15, 1977, the Big Ear Radio Telescope in Ohio picked up something extraordinary, a 72-second signal so strong, astronomer Jerry Amon circled it and wrote, wow, next to it. And just like that, the mystery began. This signal came from the constellation Sagittarius, a big deal for the SETI project searching for signs of other civilizations. But here's the kicker, the signal was never heard again. Poof, gone. For years it was held as the best evidence of extraterrestrial life. Then, in 2016, a twist. Astronomers Antonio Paris and Evan Davies proposed a theory. They suggested the signal might have come from a comet, not ET. These comets have large hydrogen clouds that could produce a similar signal, so was it aliens or just a comet? The mystery remains, but one thing's for sure. The WOW signal continues to spark our imagination. On August 16, 1949, Leonard Green patented an airplane stall warning device. In aviation, a stall occurs when the airflow over the wings is no longer sufficient to provide lift. 
Essentially, a stalled wing ceases to function. This happens when the wing exceeds its critical angle of attack. Green realized that the accident could have been avoided if the pilot had been warned of an imminent stall. Aerodynamic stalls caused the majority of aviation deaths at the time. Green's device sounded an alert when the plane was in danger of not having enough lift to stay flying. This alert would allow time for the pilot to take corrective measures. Since its invention, this device became standard equipment for all aircraft and has also helped reduce the number of accidents due to stalling. The stall warning indicator was called the greatest lifesaver since the invention of the parachute. On August 18, 1949, the first ever horticulture patent assignment, plant patent number one, was issued to Henry Bosenberg, a landscaping gardener for his climbing rose. Bosenberg's climbing rose differed from other roses due to its ever-blooming characteristic, meaning that it was able to flower constantly between early June until late October when growth was stopped by frost. In comparison, the competitor's rose only bloomed for two weeks each year. Rosa New Dawn is a light pink modern climbing rose cultivar. The cultivar is a sport genetic mutation of Rosa Dr. W. Van Fleet. New Dawn was voted the most popular rose in the world at the 11th World Convention of Rose Societies in 1997. It is also recognized worldwide as one of the best of the repeating climbing roses. On August 21, 1888, William Seward Burroughs was issued not one but four patents for his groundbreaking calculating machine. Before Burroughs, adding machines were a mess, unreliable and often incorrect, turning simple calculations into time-consuming nightmares for clerks. Burroughs was obsessed with accuracy. He even used a microscope to perfect his designs. This attention to detail paid off as his machine made precise automatic calculations possible for the first time in 1886. He founded the American Arithmometer Company. Over the years it evolved, becoming the Burroughs Adding Machine Company in 1904. And in 1986 it merged with Sperry Corporation to form Unisys, a name you might recognize today from hand crank machines to digital calculators. It all started here. On August 23, 1991, the World Wide Web was open to everyone. The term Internaut is made from a combination of Internet and Astronaut. Tim Berners-Lee, a British scientist at CIRA and invented the World Wide Web, WWW, in 1989. It was developed to allow information exchange between scientists in universities and institutes around the world. On August 23, 1991, Berners-Lee allowed the access to WWW to the general public. Berners-Lee is a vocal opponent of software patents, but his invention, the WW, has sparked tens of thousands of patents, if not millions. One of the first patents on Interactive Web was awarded to Michael Doyle. Doyle claims that he and two co-inventors came up with the Interactive Web at the University of California in 1993. They filed for the patent, viewable here, in 1994, and were awarded it in 1998. Are you amazed by the jets slicing through the sky? Well, it all started with one groundbreaking flight. On August 27, 1939, the Heinkel He 178 took to the skies as the world's first turbojet-powered aircraft. It was flown by German test pilot Erich Worsitz, and it transformed aviation forever. Behind this marvel were two brilliant minds, Dr. Hans von Ohain and Sir Frank Whittle. Von Ohain designed the first operational turbojet engine, while Whittle was the first to patent the concept in 1930. But get this. Whittle's patent lapsed in 1935 because he couldn't afford the renewal fee. When Whittle learned about von Ohain's achievements, he was initially upset, thinking his ideas had been copied. But soon he realized that von Ohain had independently developed his engine. The two became lifelong friends, often touring the US to share their incredible journey. Thanks to their innovation, the sky was no longer the limit, it was just the beginning. See you next time. Thanks for watching.